Kristen Mumbi, a 40-year-old mother of five, knows too well what happens when man and elephant collide. She was on her way to look for odd jobs near Jipe Primary School when two elephants nearly trampled her to death. She survived, but her injuries were so bad. Worse still, Kenya was enduring the 100-day doctor strike, and she would have to be referred to Tanzania to seek treatment. When the strike abated, she came back. She has had to undergo another costly operation. Now, she badly needs a walking frame. She cannot support her children. Sixty-five-year-old Peter Mwekesi lives off the land. He has farmed here for 18 years. He doesn't hate elephants. He hates what they do to his harvest. Last year, elephants destroyed his crop, valued by the Human Wildlife Resolution Committee as worth 250,000 Kenyan shillings. He's still waiting for his compensation. The elephants have not come this year, but when they do... <laughs> The Kenya Wildlife Service acknowledges that elephants remain a big threat where people have settled. In 1996, negotiations began to erect a 30-kilometer solar-powered fence to restrict elephant movement to human settlement as they move from Tsavo East to Tsavo West and the private ranches. So once this place is fenced completely, then issues of human-wildlife conflict will be minimized by over almost 85-95%. never ever be the same. As KWS completed their fence, Four young girls from Kajiri Girls High School were also working hard to keep elephants at bay. They designed their prototype, Novu Care. Since we haven't patented it, mm -hmm. I cannot give out the trade secrets, our trade secrets. The challenge is that we don't have enough funds to come up with the real one. So we can't try the one that we have since it's just but a prototype. <laughs> The gadget has a red light which shows it is charged. The sensor indicates the presence of the elephant. Then it sets a siren, which alerts both the community and the KWS that the animal is around. People can either remain indoors while wildlife officials swing into action. Immediately they get an SMS on their phones. Dreams are always valid, and whenever somebody has an idea, he should come out and explore or show out his idea or her idea, and always ask for help. There's an application and has a microphone that is attached to it, so we want to integrate both, so that uh, when they can be able to monitor the, mo the progress of the, of the end of care. Once it's complete, it is estimated to cost 60,000 shillings, or slightly less, but only till the community that needs it can access it will it make a difference. Previous methods such as using bees to scare elephants, cans and other shrill noise can't be effective on their own. For now, solutions like this are offering hope in a county where man versus elephant is a reality. And only those who live with wildlife understand what it means. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV.